Tinubu fails in stopping FBI from releasing his records, FBI states, we must give Nigerians the truth. Breaking news. Hello guys, welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, when Tinubu uh, you know, uh, was elected, according to INEC, after they is elected, he was not even elected as the president. He knew that he, was, he wasn't a legitimate president. What he did was he started fighting for legitimacy. Started, you know, trying to cause war between Nigeria and Niger when Niger did not provoke Nigeria because he wanted to do the bidding of the West. He wanted to do the bidding of the U.S. and every every, every nation. But after the obedience and David Rudin and a lot of people stopped Tinubu and you know made him to confuse him and he, he never knew what he was doing. And the war between Nigeria and uh, Niger and ECOWAS you know, was cancelled. The West has been angry with Tinubu. And that is why Tinibu has been losing all the cases that he's actually having in the United States of America. Because, like I've said, he is a mo. Tinibu is a mo, and he is the, the West is just using him because they know that they have a whole lot of criminal records against him. But immediately Tinibu failed, and after after David Houdin and obedience and a lot of a lot of uh, one million Nigerians stopped him from invading Niger, the West now abandoned Balagbe Tinibu. That is why. You know, the Chicago State University easily released the record and he was embarrassed and it he, it was shown that Tinibu lied that he attended government college in Lagos, which he never attended and a whole lot of things that he submitted a forged document to INEC. Now, I told you guys before that the FBI will be releasing 2,500 pages of uh, Tinibu's criminal records and activities in the United States. So these are part of the criminal records they have against Tinibu so that they will tell Tinibu bring so so barrels of oil from Nigeria. Then because we will not, if you did not do this or that for us, we will release your criminal records. But since Tinibu has failed, now they are ready to release more than 2,500 pages of criminal records of Alameda Tinibu. I can boldly tell you this for free. Now Tinibu, we, we all know that Tinibu uh, yesterday or two days ago, you know, started fighting to Tanel. He even tried to you know be involved in, in the in that particular case to stop FBI from releasing his uh, 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 criminal records. You know the news went viral yesterday that Tinibu has you know started or uh, commenced a process to stop FBI from releasing criminal records and every and everything. He made uh, he filed a case to his lawyers in the US and everything. You know we just have few weeks or days to October before or a few days before the, the, the those criminal records will be released uh, to David Houdini who collaborated with the United States firm. Uh, an independent firm to get the uh, criminal records from the FBI and from other U.S. agencies. This is not just only from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, including other U.S. agencies. Now, Tinibu has been fighting to Tanel, but I can boldly tell you this: that Tinibu has failed in stopping FBI from releasing his academic, uh, from releasing his criminal records. This is a man who forfeited four hundred sixty thousand U.S. dollars. These are just the tip of the icebergs of uh, iceberg of things you will see in the criminal records that the FBI will release. A lot of things. Even it is through these criminal records that we will know if Tinibu truly attended Chicago State University. We will know his true name, his true identity, his true social security number, and a whole lot of things about him. But before I dive into the course of this particular matter, please, 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 before I expose how he failed and probably how he would never, as a matter of fact, stop FBI from releasing those criminal records, please, if this is your first time of coming here, don't hesitate, please, to subscribe. Because a lot of things you need to be uh, 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 exposed and informed about what is actually happening. Because this man, Nibola Metinibu, in the development nation, cannot hold the, the least political position because of his criminal records. But in Nigeria, they believe that anything can can go, he can come back and become a criminal in Nigeria and rule this country because you have money. Well, please do well to subscribe, so that you know you'll be getting important information and updates here. Now, let's head back straight to the point. People should know that the, 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 the person that actually filed this case to obtain uh, 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 criminal records from FBI is Aaron Greenspan, as you see on the screen, and he's an American citizen and the founder of Plain Sight, a US based uh, website dedicated to legal data transparency. And advocacy. Now he worked in collaboration with David Houdini to request for the FBI to release the documents on Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Now the question a lot of people are asking is whether Bola Tinibu will actually succeed in blocking the documents from being released. But I can categorically tell you this for free: that Tinibu, as a matter of fact, cannot, cannot, I repeat, cannot stop FBI from releasing his academic from his, his criminal record. The only thing he can do is to delay the process. Look at. Meanwhile, people should know that these are records. Meanwhile, if, as you see on the screen, people should know that these are records which can be made public. You can't stop such records from being disclosed by any law or enforcement agency. Unlike the CSU records, the FBI records belong to the U.S. government. You can't plead for it to be blocked because it's, it's not your prerogative. Now, what this thing means is that, you know, Tinibu was trying to stop CSU uh, from, you know, releasing his academic records because 
those were his academic records. Those were his academic records. But this is not Nibu's document. This is not Nibu's file. These are the files of the United States government, and that is the FBI. So Tinibu has no ownership, cannot lay claim to the ownership of this document. There's nothing he can do about it. The only thing is that this is the property of the FBI, and FBI have shown interest to release this to this uh, 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 Aaron Greenspan, who owns a site, a site, uh, a plain site, which is a US-based uh, website dedicated to legal data uh, transparency advocacy. So, but the only thing Tinibu is trying to do is to delay. What he's trying to do is to delay this the release of this document because he knows that if these documents are being uh, released during this Supreme Court process and everything, that it is going to, it is definitely going to influence the emotions and the judgments of the Supreme Court because a lot of dirty things will be revealed about Bolami Tinibu. You people don't even know what is going to be revealed. Both his criminal activities, the identity theft, and how he was lying to federal agencies, stealing the identity of people, and exchanging social security now, and these drug-related activities, a whole lot of things are going to be revealed about him. So he knows that even his most supporters will turn against him because of the criminal records that will be released about him. So that is why he is fighting to turn them. And people should know that Tinibu cannot succeed as a question is there are about nine conditions under the US law of all which is discretionary, which that can stop the release of Tinibu but of Tinibu's academic record, uh, criminal record. But Tinibu did not meet any of them because like I've said, this document does not belong to Bolami Tinibu. This document is the sole property of the FBI and other security agencies and enforcement agencies agencies within the United States of America. So the only thing Tinibu can do to list the fact the only thing the maximum thing he can do is to delay this for some time. And at the end of the day, those criminal records will be exposed. And this is again going to bring an international embarrassment and disgrace to this country. Because the whole world will now hear that our president, our so-called president, is preventing his criminal records. If truly he doesn't have a criminal record, if truly he was a saint in the United States, there is no need for him to block the FBI and other agencies from releasing his criminal records. But because he knows that he has a book, do you know what it means for someone to have 2,500 pages and criminal pages of crimes that he were committed in the United States soil? Like I said, a lot of things are going to be unraveled. Tinibu cannot stop FBI from releasing academic records and from releasing criminal records if, since he has lost even the, the trust and the uh, collaboration of the Western countries. Well, like I said, I would like to drop your comments in the comment section.